In this video, we're going to draw our first shape using HTML canvas. And we're going to go ahead and use the rectangle method. And we'll get to that in a minute. But basically, we're going to go ahead and use some of the methods and properties we've been using all along. So we've been using the line width property, and we're going to use that again. We're going to set this to 12 pixels. And of course, stroke style allows us to set the color. And so we're going to go ahead and use that, and we're going to set it to red. And of course, you have to end anything that you draw with the stroke method. So, of course, we need to use that. But here is the rectangle method, which allows us to draw a rectangle. And so that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, these first two values here are the X and Y coordinates. And that determines where we position our rectangle on our web page. By the way, it's always that way whenever you're trying to determine a position. The X always comes first, and then the Y always comes second. So for the X, the X is for the horizontal axis, and the Y coordinate is for the vertical axis. So what we're basically saying here is how many pixels do we want to come in from the left side of the screen? It always moves left to right on a horizontal axis. And we're going to say 100. And 90. So we want to come in 190 pixels from the left on the horizontal axis. And then the y axis, we're going to be coming down from the top of the page. And we want to come down 90 pixels. So now we have the position determined. Now we want to determine the width and the height. And the third value is for the width. And we're going to set that to 170 pixels. And then for the height, let's set that to 100 pixels. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And now let's go ahead and execute this. And take a look at that. We got our rectangle right there. And doesn't that look nice? Now, one thing I want to point out is these X's and Y coordinates, those work against the upper left corner of this rectangle. That's how you determine the position. So if you wanted to move this down, just keep in mind, those coordinates work against the upper left corner of the rectangle. And so basically for the X coordinate, we said come in 190 pixels from the left right to this upper left part of the rectangle. And same thing for the Y. We said come down 90 pixels right to the upper left corner of the rectangle. So again, that's how that works. Now, we can also fill this rectangle with a color. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, this is a little bit different when you want to start filling. You basically have to do that outside the stroke method. The stroke method will not allow you to fill the rectangle. That's just the way it is. So we basically have to come down here and write some new code. And the first thing we want to do is call our object, of course, which is cont. And what we're going to do is close the path. Now, you might be wondering, why do I have to do that? Well, the reason is we actually have to close this part right here. We have to close this out in order to fill the rectangle. So you just have to call this method, and it doesn't take any values. We just need to call it, and that will close out the path. And then we can go ahead and fill. And then what we need to do is specify the color that we want to use to fill our rectangle. And in this case, we use fill style. That's what you use. And we're going to give this a value of blue. That's what we're going to do. Good. And of course, we need our semicolon. Now, similar to up here where we had to close out our stroke, we also need to go ahead and close out the fill. And actually, we can just take this right here because it's very similar. And we'll just come down here, copy and paste that. And instead of stroke, we use fill. And that will now close out the fill. So let's go ahead and save this and let's make sure it works. And it did, look at that, we filled the rectangle with blue. That's very nice. Now you might be asking yourself, well, in the last video, we used this move to method first. We had that as our first line of code. Why aren't we using that again? Well, it's a good question. First of all, this does the same thing. We specify an X and a Y coordinate. That tells us where to start. But we don't need it because the rectangle method already had that. So if you're using a method that draws a specific shape and you already specify the X and Y coordinates there, you don't need to use this move to method. So that's why we're not using that method. 